I saw you. I'm not going to tell you anything, so whatever you think you saw, just forget it. So it's okay if I text everybody about what I think I saw? Mel, look, whatever you tell me will go no further than this room, I promise. I'm not looking for something to gossip about. I just want to know what's going on with you, that's all. What you saw was a meeting of the Blackwood Society. It's a secret club that someone at Waverly started a couple of years after the school was founded. Only seven girls a year get chosen to be members. What does the Blackwood Society do? We just meet. There's no talking or socializing. We literally just stand around for about 20 minutes and chant. It's more like a tradition, one that keeps going even though everybody's forgotten how and why it started. Everything's totally anonymous. Everyone wears a black cloak, except for the leader. Hers is light blue, and no one ever talks. They just whisper, so you can't tell who anyone is. About once a month, I'll get a note or a text saying there's a meeting that night. What happens if you don't want to be a member? I have no idea. Look, to me, belonging to the Blackwood Society is cool. Not because it's secret and exclusive and all that, but because I like being part of something that someone a long time ago, for whatever reason, thought was important. I like not knowing what the chant means, and I accept all the secrecy and anonymity, because by doing so, I get to be part of a tradition that's more than a century old. I'm sure some girls belong because they're too intimidated to quit, but I belong because the unknown is something I've always felt drawn to. Anyway, that's it. That's all you're going to get me to say on the matter. Do you think there's any connection between the Blackwood Society and all this black cat stuff? I meant what I said before. Blackwood Society? Never heard of it. I'd better get going. Drop in any time. Locked. Izzy must be somewhere else. It's only fair to warn you, I'm not in a very good mood right now. Oh, then I'll just come back later. How could she do it? Did she think I wouldn't mind if she started dating Jacob? Did she think I wouldn't find out? My gosh, it's all over school. You had no idea Izzy was interested in him? I'm not stupid. I could tell he was on her radar. The way she'd look at him and flirt her brains out with him. I just never figured she'd actually make a move on him while he was still dating me. I mean, who does that to their own roommate? Have you confronted her yet? No. And you know what? I don't think I will. I'm just gonna act like nothing's wrong. If she's got the guts to bring up the subject, fine. But I'm not gonna say a word. I'm gonna let her wonder just how and when I'm going to get back at her. Because I will definitely get back at her. In the meantime, I'm just gonna shake it off and get back in the game. What's up, girl? I'll check back with you later. Hang in there. Did that. That's done. Still have to do that. Check. Still have to do that. Check. Did that. That's done. Can't check that off yet. Did that.
You can come in. Someone didn't lock their door. Maybe later, okay? Hey, what's going on? I'll check back with you later. Okie dokie. Someone didn't lock their door. Hey, you got everyone's picture uploaded. Sure did. Fab. Now I need you to lay out the web page. Just get back on the computer, log in, and click on the Meet the Candidates link again. It'll take you to a description of exactly where I want everything to go. What if I'd rather lay everything out my way? You can't. That would be cheating. This is my project. It's got to be done my way. I'll check the page when you're done to make sure everything's kosher. If anything's in the wrong place, I'll leave you a message describing what needs to be fixed. And once the layout is perfect, report back to me, because I'll probably have something else for you to do. I knew you were going to say that. In case I forgot to say it before, I'm really grateful for your help. Maybe someday I can return the favor. Don't worry about it. It'll be nice just having you as a friend. Right. Plagiarism? Is that true, or is it just a rumor? I'm here. It's already open. It's not true, if that's what you want to know. So you didn't plagiarize that paper? Of course not. I mean, I may bend the rules now and then, especially the stupid ones, but I have never cheated on a test or turned in a paper somebody else wrote, ever. Can you prove that you didn't? I'm not allowed to try. They've locked my computer account to make sure I don't mess with anything on Paper Trail. Paper Trail? Papertrail.edu. It's a website all the teachers here go to when they want to compare a paper that's been handed in with papers available on the Internet. Students aren't supposed to know about it. Mrs. Arlington, that's my art history teacher, she matched my paper with something on paper trail. Not only is it insulting that they'd think I'd cheat, but that I'd do it in such a way that I was sure to get caught? Come on, I am not that stupid. You think someone's trying to frame you? Day after Megan left, I found a note under my door. And then, not too long ago, I got another one. Both were from the black cat. If I could just get online, I could clear all this up, but I can't, and whoever this black cat person is knows it. This is just so frustrating. Unless... Becca, look, I'm not anyone's favorite person at this school. The kids, the teachers. If I get kicked out, nobody's gonna care. But I don't deserve this, and I need help. 
Just before the school booted me offline, I got a glimpse of the IP address of whoever posted the paper I supposedly plagiarized. I didn't get a chance to write it down, but I do remember that none of the digits in it repeated. See if you can track it down. That's all I'm asking. Could you do that? Please? Yeah, I can do that. Sure. Hunting down the facts is kind of a hobby with me anyway. Here's the paper I got back from Mrs. Arlington. Just go to the academics page on the school website and look under resources for paper trail. If you enter a data source code, it'll tell you the IP address of the person who posted the paper I allegedly stole from. Thank you, Becca. Oh man, just knowing someone's on my side is a huge relief. Anyway, what's new with you? I'd better get going. Door's always open.
If the date on this paper is correct, then whoever posted the paper online did so after Mel turned it in, which proves she didn't copy it. Jacob Price. I wonder if that's the same Jacob Izzy allegedly stole from Leela. Sounds like the black cat stalking Izzy. What's the word? Was the date on your term paper the date that you turned it in? Yeah. Why? Because the paper you supposedly plagiarized wasn't online until the next day. Someone must have gotten a hold of your paper, copied it, and posted it in an attempt to make you look like a plagiarist. So all the headmistress has to do is check the dates and I'm in the clear. Oh my gosh, Becca, thank you. Thank you. So who posted it? Who tried to frame me? I, uh, I don't know for sure, but it kind of looks like Izzy may have been involved. What a surprise. Hey, I got something a newbie like you might like to read. Has some interesting information about Waverly. Thanks. You can keep it. I know everything I want to know about this place. Anything else going on? I'd better get going. Doors always open.
How's it going? What's this about your stealing Leela's boyfriend? The guy asked me to Oxford's holiday bash, and I said yes. Big whoop. But he was dating Leela. It's a free country. He can date whomever he wants. Look, I don't steal boyfriends, okay? I don't have to. Guys are just naturally attracted to me. I know how conceited that sounds, but it's the truth. Leela had her chance with this guy. She couldn't cut it, so now he's into me. She's just gonna have to deal with it. Is it true you just got a second note from the black cat? No, I'm pretty sure the note I got was from Leela. It was a lame attempt to get even with me for stealing her stupid boyfriend. May I see it? Sorry, I did the same thing to it that I did to the first note. Burned it. What do you think about Mel and that plagiarism charge? I'm not surprised. Like I said, she's psycho. She wouldn't think twice about doing something like that. Apparently someone named Jacob Price tried to make it look like Mel plagiarized her own paper. You mean Jacob framed her? Yeah, right. Isn't Jacob Price your current boyfriend? Yeah, but don't forget. Until very, very recently, Jacob was Leela's boyfriend. You want to point fingers? Maybe you should start with my roommate. Thanks for all the advice. Adios. Hey, what's going on? It looks like Mel was framed for plagiarism by someone named Jacob Price. Jacob? You're kidding me. Wow. Izzy's already got him doing her dirty work. That sure didn't take long. So Jacob didn't have any kind of personal grudge against Mel? Far as I know, they've never even met. No, he did it for Izzy. The two of them have probably been sneaking around behind my back for months. I'd better get going. Bye.
Let's see if that works. It's already open. You can come in. Something's wrong with the web page. I left my comments online. That should do it, I hope. Let's see if that works. How about that? This door's not locked. What? Becca, nice job on the layout. Thank you. What's next? Next, I need you to take a few more pictures. Here's a list. They're all things that are special to Waverly Academy somehow. Iconic, I guess you'd say. They can all be found on the school grounds. The only one that might be a little problematic is the picture of Rita Hollowell and her cat. She was one of Waverly's founding teachers. There's a couple of references to the picture in the school records, but it hasn't been seen in eons. But if you can find it, and I can get a photo of that photo up on the website, it would be such an incredible coup that it might even put me back in the running for valedictorian. I'll give it my best shot. Upload them like before, I'll check them when they're up, and if I see any problems, I'll leave a note for you on the page. Come back to me when you're done. I'll stop hassling you now. Later. That's not very nice, but then gossip seldom is. Attention, everyone. As of now, the snack shop is open. I have got such a crush on Mr. Harris, I can't stand it. You and every other girl at Waverly. Not every girl. Oh, I'm sorry, you're right. Just the ones who take health care. But he's not really what you'd call hot, you know? Well, if she doesn't want him, I'll take him. I think he's a dog. I think I made a mistake. ready Come 
Come get your order. Food's ready. Order's ready. There, all done. It's already open. What? What? Listen, I know you checked out a book on Victorian dining, but I was wondering if I could borrow it. I'm kind of into Victorian stuff. Sorry, I need it for the paper I'm writing. But I'll tell you what, if you get my math notebook from Mel, I'll work on that project for a while and you can borrow the Victorian book. I know Mel's just down the hall, but I'd rather not have to deal with her, okay? Sure. One math notebook coming up. Great. Well, good luck with your papers. Bye. Come on in. How goes it? I need to get Rachel's math notebook from you. Sure. Soon as I remember where I put it. Nuts. I left it in the library. That's all right. I can go get it. Why do you want her math notebook? Well, actually, Rachel, uh... She wants it, but she didn't want to ask me for it in person. It's almost like she's afraid of you. I don't treat her any differently than I treat practically everyone else around here. In other words, for the most part, I totally ignore her. I don't know what her problem is. Maybe I'll pop in again later. Drop in any time. Something tells me I don't see Rachel's math book anywhere because it wound up in here. Those are Roman numerals.
You can come in. How about that? This door's not You've locked. You've got my math notebook. Fab, I'll take that. What do you have against Mel? Nothing. She's one of the few girls around here I actually kind of like. But before, you said you didn't want to deal with her. You misunderstood. I meant I didn't have time to deal with her because of these stupid papers I have to write. Anyway, the book's all yours. Go ahead and take it. I gotta get back to work here. I'll see you later. This is a book that's missing from the library. If I return it, I'll get credit points. is the cloak the leader of the Blackwood Society was wearing.
on in. How about that? This door's not locked. How goes it? That book on music theory you checked out, could I take a look at it? No problem. As long as you go get me some milk and a cookie from the snack shop. It's not that I'm too lazy to do it myself, it's just that... You have a certain image to maintain. And milk and cookies don't exactly enhance it. Understood. I'll be back. Step right up. The snack shop is open. A teacher order. I've got to get this one done fast. If I'm fast enough, I can earn a credit. Too slow, and I'll get a demerit. I'm too slow. I've got to move faster. Okay, everybody. Snack shop's open. I just heard that Ms. Lambert asked Mr. Harris out for coffee. And I just heard he turned her down! was she should try using brown mascara instead of black, and she totally wigged out. That's not quite right. Is ready. Order's ready. Food's ready. There. All done. Someone didn't lock their door. You've got my snack. Awesome. Here you go. Perfect. Thanks. All yours. 
What else is going on? I'd better get going. Drop in any time. What have I done?
That's Rachel. What's she up to? I should probably find out. Oh my gosh, there's two of you? Please don't tell. You mean you both go to school here, but everyone thinks just one of you does? I including the administration? But we're not hurting anyone. I mean, it's not like anyone else was going to use this room or eat these leftovers. We've been doing this for years, Becca. If we were doing any harm, we would have been found out by now. Our mother's dead, and our father was clueless when it came to raising two girls by himself. We were afraid that unless we somehow went off to boarding school, we'd wind up in foster homes. So we applied for scholarships all over the place, but this was the only one we got. So we decided to share it. And we've only got one more semester. Just one. We're so close. Please don't tell, Becca. Please. Wow. This is amazing. Okay, I won't tell. And don't worry, I'm pretty good with secrets. Thank you. I just can't believe I'm the only one who knows. Actually, you're not. Kim! Someone else found out and blackmailed us into leaving those black cat notes for other people. You too are the black cat? No, we just make the notes and deliver them to whomever the real black cat tells us to. What are you doing? If she tells they're gonna kick us out anyway, Rachel, she may as well know everything. Maybe she'll even help us. So you're Rachel and you're Kim? Right. How does this blackmailer black cat person communicate with you? Email. Each time is from a different address. We have no idea who's sending them. Well, I guess I could kind of, you know, play detective and try to find out who it is. That would be so cool. Then we'd know something that person doesn't want anyone to find out. A stalemate. Yes! 
In the meantime, my sister needs to finish her dinner and you should go. Nobody cares if one of us isn't around, but if the new girl suddenly disappears... I understand. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I mean, I'll see one of you guys tomorrow. Night. What's up, Rumi? I'll see you in a bit. Later.
You can come in. Someone didn't lock their door. I can't talk now. can't leave yet. There are still too many strange things going on here. Whoa! Izzy, yucking it up with Corrine? This is an interesting turn of events. Too dark in here. I can't see anything. Izzy sounds a tad upset.
This must be the photo of Rita Hollowell and her cat that Rachel was hoping I'd find. I need to take a picture of this so I can upload it to the website along with the other icon photos. Rachel is going to be thrilled. Already open. Becca, hey, you finished the icon pictures. You even found that picture of Hollowell and her cat. Great job. There's just one more thing I need you to do, and then you'll be done with me. Us. What is it? One of my web pages has to include the essay Corrine wrote that won the English department's coveted pen to paper award. So get a copy of it from her and upload it to the site, and that'll be that. Any idea who the real black cat is yet? No, but don't worry, I'm working on it. My sister says I shouldn't get my hopes up, but I can't help it. Now that I've seen you and your sister together, I'm pretty sure I can tell you apart. That's impossible! We're exactly the same, right down to our handwriting. No one can tell us apart. You're Rachel, aren't you? You just guessed. Your sister does this hair-tucking thing, you're probably so used to seeing her do it that you have no idea you don't. Thanks for the tip. Well, good luck with your papers. Later. What's up, Rumi? For the web page I'm helping Rachel put up, I need to get the essay you wrote that won the pen to paper award. Oh yeah, Rachel mentioned that. I didn't think my paper was that great, but for some reason the entire faculty went totally gaga over it. I'll copy it onto a flash drive for you. But while I do that, would you do me a favor? Sure, I guess. I'm absolutely starving, and since you're snack shop boss, how about getting me a toasted bagel with cheese, an apple, some juice, and a candy bar, okay? Soon as you do, I'll give you the essay. You got it. Excellent. Guess who just got a second note from the black cat? Ooh, you're in for it.
Okay, people, I'm ready to take your orders. Another teacher order. Order's ready. Okay, everybody, snack shop's open. I found out what Mr. Harris's favorite color is, green. A lot of good knowing that does us. Stupid uniform. At least I have green eyes. No, you don't, they're hazel. Come get your order. She's going out with him? I mean, his B.O. is like a weapon of mass destruction. Order up. Come get your order. Food's ready. There, all done. Got my snack. Yep, enjoy. Thank you. Mmm, that is so good. Here, keep it as long as you want. The essay is the only thing on there. Great, thanks. Anything else? I'd better get going. Bye. Hasta whatever. When it comes to Mr. Poe and maybe Miss, or should I say Nurse Hollowell, looks like Corrine's a bit of an expert. Corrine, you here? Guess not.
What is that noise? Sounds like it's coming from the other side of the wall. That's interesting. The old set of blueprints shows a tiny room behind the furnace which isn't on the modern blueprints. And the modern blueprint includes a drawing of the furnace and a bunch of numbered valves. Dupin? I've seen that name before in Hollowell's journal. already open. Hey, Becca, thanks for uploading that essay. Why did you send me that note? What note? I got a note from the black cat. A second note. I, I didn't send it. We didn't send it. The first one, yes, but that was it. If you got another note, it must be from the real black cat. Look, 
I don't have any more assignments for you, so thanks for all your help. It is way too dark in here. Did that. Still have to do that. That's done. Did that. Still have to do that. That's done. Did that. Can't check that off yet. Did that. Check. That's done. Still have to do that. That's done. Hey, I'm a little busy right now, okay? Because of that picture of you and Kareen? There was no picture of me and Kareen. Somebody obviously used a computer and pasted a couple photos together. Any idea who this somebody might be? Either Mel or Leela. They both resent me. And they're both experts at doing underhanded things. Mel and her plagiarism. Leela throwing elbows whenever the ref's not looking. Heck, maybe it was both of them. Anyway, I gotta do some damage control, so leave, okay? The sooner I figure out where the pictures used in that composite came from, the sooner I can salvage my reputation. I'll see ya. Later, okay? No time, sorry. No time, sorry. It's too dark in here. I can't see anything.
how's it going? Seeing as you're the leader of the Blackwood Society, I need you to tell me something. All right, who blabbed? I... look, that's not important. I just need to hear that chant you guys repeat, word for word. The reason why is very complicated, but I promise you, whatever you tell me, I won't repeat it to anyone, ever. What's in it for me? Nothing. Dude, I sure hope you don't intend to go into politics, because you'd stink at it. I'll owe you one. How's that? I'll say it once, and that's all. Three is fine, but five is more. Even nineteen defeats four. Should just seven become lore, at least two will find the door. You owe me big. How did you get to be the leader? I got a text telling me to go to a certain spot, and when I did, there was the blue cloak, along with a note saying I was to choose seven new members and in the spring, a new leader. Everyone takes a vow of secrecy. Everyone thinks if they break it, they'll be cursed or something. You believe that? No harm in hedging your bets. And since you're in on the secret now, too, you should probably do the same. Well, now that that conversation's over, forever, what else is going on? I've harassed you enough. Adios. Uh-oh. Now what's happened? It's too dark in here. I can't see anything. A pile of snow must have slid off the roof onto these doors. They won't budge. Well, since that snow won't be melting anytime soon, I'd better start looking for another way out. here apparently the same thing you are looking for the treasure Rita Hollowell hid is that it what is it an old manuscript by Edgar Allan Poe never published he told her where it was when he was on his deathbed when he died she took it and ran off so Rufus Griswold wouldn't end up with it at least I think that's what happened you found all that out while you were researching that paper when I do research I do research Although, truth be told, all I knew with relative certainty is that she'd hidden something in this building. I wasn't sure where. Which is why you became the Black Cat. I'm not the Black Cat. I didn't leave those notes. No, you blackmailed someone else into doing that for you. Two someones, actually. You're pretty smart. The question is, are you smart enough to live to tell the tale? I don't think so. No, forget it. You're not going anywhere till you tell me what the heck is going on. Come on, Mel. It's too long a story. I need to go. You just entered my room through the wall. I want an explanation. I'll explain later. Now let me past. Stay right <gasps> there, Mel. You too? What is this? Well, for Kareen, it's over. Because of all the meticulous research she'd done, Corrine knew Rita Hollowell had hidden something written by Poe somewhere in Ramsey Hall. But without the clues that my investigation eventually uncovered, her only hope of finding it was by searching the entire building. And she couldn't do that unless most, if not all, of its occupants spent midterm break elsewhere, leaving their rooms unoccupied. So, she resurrected an old Waverly legend and attempted to frighten her classmates away with notes from the Black Cat. 
followed by well-timed accidents. And having stumbled upon Rachel and Kim's secret months before, she blackmailed them into writing and delivering the notes for her so that if anything went wrong, they would take the blame. But thanks to me and to Mel, who wouldn't even let me out of her room until I told her everything, Corrine got the blame and was promptly expelled, which is kind of too bad. She would no doubt have graduated at the top of her class if her greed, guile, and subconscious desire to retaliate against her classmates hadn't gotten the best of her. But some good did result from all this. For one thing, Megan's parents dropped their threatened lawsuit and allowed her to return to school. Fully recovered from her allergic reaction, she threw herself into her studies with a vengeance. Now, with Kareen out of the picture, the valedictorian contest has turned into an academic knockdown dragout between Izzy, Leela, Mel, and Megan. Which is a good thing. Not pretty, but good. Anyway, as for Rachel and Kim, Kareen made sure they got expelled too. But when some of Waverly's more influential alumni heard what had happened, they insisted the twins be unexpelled and even pay their tuition and board for the rest of the year. They contended that the audacious fraud Rachel and Kim had perpetrated stemmed from their determination to get a good education and hence should be rewarded, not punished. And you know, I have the feeling Rita Hollowell and maybe even her idol Mr. Poe, who was pretty darn good at making fiction seem like fact himself, would have very much agreed. I don't know about you, but tornadoes have always fascinated me. So when I'm told a team of tornado chasers down in Oklahoma is having strange, sometimes life-threatening problems with its equipment, and I'm asked to join the team so I can try to figure out why, I immediately say yes. But once I arrive in Tornado Alley, I quickly discover that a line of storms severe enough to spawn a record-breaking string of twisters is not my biggest problem. I must also survive the diabolical actions of a teammate bent on sabotage. Join me as I learn firsthand which is more dangerous, Mother Nature or Human Nature, in my next adventure, Trail of the Twister.